Okay, I bought this uh, bench power supply for my personal use and uh, the make is some Chinese make LW. It's long way. It's a 30 volt 10 amps bench power supply. It came packed very well. Um, came with some quite nice cables. The box seems to be okay. I'm not going to do the full review on it. I will just show a couple of things that I didn't really like it and I wish I knew about them before I bought this. So I have decided to return this back to the seller and not use it. But at the same time I will try to, to share my experience and it's may gonna be helpful to you. Okay. So the first thing is the beeper. So you have, when you change the settings on it, so you can enable or disable the sound. So it keeps beeping. Every time you change something, it beeps. Okay. So if you push this button, you can get rid of it. So it's fine, nice, nice and quiet. But what I didn't really like it is if you're going to switch it off, it beeps. And then if you start, you have a beep again. You don't have beep on changing the settings but you have a beep on off and on to start up. Okay, that's one thing, I didn't really like it. So what I will do now, I will try to set LED. Uh, I will try to power up LED on it. Um, so it's just a blue five mil LED. And um, I will try to set this for 20 milliamps. Okay, so it's just, if you would be powering up small circuits below power consumption. So I will set the voltage to 3.3 volts. There we go, 3.3. And the current I will set to 0 0.02. So 0 0.02, that is going to be 20 milliamps. Okay. So if I push this button, the LED should come on. You see, nothing happens. No voltage, nothing. No power, 20 milliamp setting. So it, does, it doesn't work on low range, I think. Because if I start to change the current, if I increase the current to... 50 milliamps. Then we're starting to get some voltages here. Yeah, still no power to LED. And it's a bit random. Every time it's kind of different behavior. So let's go a bit more on the current. So this is my 100 milliamp setting. And that's flashed on and off. So then another thing I don't really like about this, if you push it on and you go off, it doesn't even work. So there's no power to LED or anything. It's just trying to produce some here. But if I press the off button, at the times LED flashes. That means it's, it's putting the output, which is not being controlled. See? Again, it's random, not every time. So I cannot get this to work now. So what I will do, I will still be limiting current. 200. Nothing. Okay. Let's increase the voltage slightly. But what I will do, I leave the voltage on 3.3 and I will ramp up the current. So I put one amp. Okay. So it doesn't work at all now. So look, I cannot get this to work now. 
let's put the current down to I don't know where 20 milliamps and let's amp up uh, so that's off now so 20 milliamps current and the voltage I will go nothing so what I will do I will go a bit higher on the current so look now at the 50 milliamps the LED turns on but my setting now is 50 milliamps yeah and 7 volts so let's bring the voltage down So 3.3, 50 milliamps. Nothing again. So you see it's, it's not working. So if I go with the voltage higher, but I limit that now at 50 milliamps, that's possibly gonna cook my LED. I'm not sure if there's something happening with the cables maybe. I don't think so. I mean, it's trying to do something, but it just has no control, I think. It does not have a control on the low current settings. So if I bring the voltage, 3.3, and I will increase the current, let's say one amp. Yeah, still nothing. Still nothing here. Four volts. Yeah, previously I was able to use it like about around four volts came on, but it's as I said, it's always random things happening here. So I'm not too sure what's going on. Okay. So with the LED, that's what it is. So on the low side, it doesn't work. Uh, put the solenoid on. Okay. This is 12 volt. 12 volt solenoid. Um, put a bit of tape here so you actually can see the shaft position okay so what I will do with the 12 volt solenoid set 12 volts and let's do exactly 12 and the current we do 7 shouldn't go as high as 7 I think it's about 6 amps So it's going 3 amps and showing constant voltage at 6 volts. So I'm yeah, really not sure what's going on here. Maybe I should try to... Let's try to restart. So 12 volts. 7 amps yeah still not too sure what is it doing but if I go higher on the voltage it, it does work but that should work on a 12 volt So three arms, two falls. Yeah. So it looks like it doesn't work. To me, it looks like it's something. Maybe it's a fault to you. I don't know. It worked previously. It did work for a while. But um, as I put this down on the bench here, I tried to operate it, and it was working. I didn't have a low side controls. So, but at the low currents, I was able to use that uh, solenoid. That's just fine. But now. 
see it's just gone completely on ways and it's doing what he wants to do so sending back to the supplier and um, yeah that's what I wanted to show you okay thank you